Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn a very you know simple trick to multiply or divide with the exponents of 10. But before that, let us first understand what exactly are exponents of 10. So if I have written 10 to the power 1, that would be equal to 10. 10 raised to the power 2, that is equal to 100. 10 raised to the power 3, that is equal to 1000. Now, if I want to say that I have to multiply a number, suppose 3.21, I want to multiply it with 10. So, I am going to get a product 32.1. What happens over here is this decimal it moves in this direction and thus increasing the value of number. Now if it is 3.21 times 10 to the power 2 10 raised to the power 2 so we are going to move the decimal towards the right side by two digits so that would be 3 to 1 and this decimal it moves from this point to the next two points and we are going to get this value and similarly if it is 3.21 times 3 raised to the power 3 that would be equal to 3 2 1 0 so since i have just two digits after the decimal and i have to accommodate this decimal after three digits i'm going to put a zero next to it now the same thing happens when I am dividing the values. So suppose it is 3, so, uh, one minute, so suppose it is 3.21, 3.21, if I am dividing it by a value 10 raised to the power 1, our decimal, decimal will move in this direction and I can write this as 0, 3, 2, 1. If my, if my question is 3.21, divide it by 10 raised to the power 2 that would be 0 0.0321 now why this so I have to divide it by 100 so I'm going to move this decimal two times so first it would be at the position just before 3 and after that I have to accommodate one more digit so I'm going to put a 0 so let us understand a very simple way what we are going to do over here is my suppose my number is 3.21 if I have to multiply it with an exponent of 10 suppose it is this value in that case I am going to write it as 3 2 1 maybe a certain number of zeros what I'm doing is now this was my initial position I'm going to count four digits and after that I'm going to put the decimal after that so it is 1 2 3 and 4 putting it over here and similarly if I have to divide I will move the decimal in the left side that means if it is 3.21 divided by 10 raised to the power 4 in that case I'm writing this as 3 to 1 and placing the zeros in the left side and now let's start counting. Initial position of decimal was just after 3. So I'm counting again 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. And now my position for the decimal would be at this point. So it would be like this. That means every time I am multiplying So every time I'm multiplying I'm going to move the decimal to the right and for every time I am dividing I'm going to move the decimal towards the left. So yes, that is the only simple rule we have to follow and we are good. Thank you.